Good day, gamers. Welcome to Our Gaming Life. I am your host, A Formal Bust, and with me today is... Your boy, Yort. Thank you for being here with me, Yort. Uh, we have plenty to dive into, but first, our sponsor, H2O. Drink it up or die. We don't have much of a choice there, do we? Would you want a choice? I mean, you have a choice. There's different temperatures of water. This is true. <laughs> Now, first uh, things first, we have a little education of video game terminology. Yort, do you remember what last time's uh, 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 gaming terminology was last episode? I'm going to be honest, no. Uh, I'm going to take a shot, though, uh -huh. uh, to keep in tradition, which I think might. <laughs> Publishers? Nope. No, now, 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 now you're two episodes behind instead no, of two. one. See, I'm, I'm becoming. <laughs> you're just gonna be. You're just gonna be stuck on <laughs> publishers forever. I'm gonna go back to like ludo narrative dissonance. Jesus point. Christ! I, I don't, I don't, I don't blame you. No, we have a, a, a pu you had publishers, two uh, publishers. Yeah, and then we had roguelike. Roguelike. And last time was game mechanics. Game mechanics. Yes. And we're sort of sticking in the groove of game mechanics because today's uh, gaming terminology is balance or game balance. Mm. Do you know anything about game balance? I mean, when when you say balance, the first thing that comes to my mind is in the settings. <laughs> it's always in the settings. You, you have to make sure you balance your uh, hardware with the, you know, unoptimized buggy piece of crap game you're playing. Yes, for you're sure. right. You're right. For sure, for sure. <laughs> but no, no, I, I my, my, my guess is just the balance of, like, when you when you think of a horror game, like you know, action to explore uh, ratio in gameplay, um, whether to you know how much is you know where clearly I can tell I'm led along a path for a story, or how much I'm exploring, or you know a, a balance of combat versus you know non-combat activities. Is that kind of you're you're, you're in the ball, ballpark and okay. uh, uh, mic bump because oh this is gonna bother me. A little, um, treat, little treat, <laughs> little little treat there. I, I might leave it in. The editor is uh, real lazy, so who knows? Um, it can be described as a mathematical algorithmic model of games, numbers, game mechanics, and relation between those. Oh my god, that is some. <laughs> in layman's terms, it's basically it's. The developers and publisher, the people making the game, deciding to adjust aspects of game mechanics and, you know, the, like, actual math behind the uh, game and how it works to create the intended experience, usually positive, um, <laughs> for players. Um, uh, and the focus of this is to create um, the desired per, uh, player perception and experience that they want. Okay. Out of the game. For sure. Um, and this is normally done before it's released, right? Mm. It's normally done beforehand. You know, we want the game, we want it to be this, right? We want mm -hmm. we want you to do all this crafting and everything and, you know, all this resource management and really <laughs> a short list of uh, 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 um, kind of general game mechanics that most people are aware of when it comes to game balance. You have chance, difficult difficulty dynamic and static balance economics fairness decisions strategy the meta rewards uh solvability symmetry and asymmetry systems and subsystems and transitive and intransitive so just a few things there that you can you know balance and bring around huh yeah <laughs> wow okay yeah some of them are For pretty sure. self-explanatory like chance you know is there luck in the game or is it like you do this you get this and there's no Random number generation, as it were. Yeah, that would be your chance throwing in there. But also, like symmetry and asymmetry. If you're talking about, if you're thinking, even looking at, like you know, if you're if you're in an explorative kind of game, or you know, rogue like, you know, are there going to be enemies over here? You don't want them enemies, you know, like in a pattern, unless it's for a certain thing. Yeah, unless like, you do. Yeah. Yeah, and, it, it, but you but that asymmetry yep. it makes it makes it more human in a way. It makes it seem more realistic and helps sell the experience. Yeah, and and a lot of game balance. Once again, because it's art, um, comes down to, as we said earlier, the uh, the experience and the perception that the developers and the publishers want the player to have, mm -hmm. you know. And it's interesting to call it balance when it's like the scale could really be anywhere. It could be like 90% combat, 10% kind of just, you know, a couple little cutscenes, or you just moving through things. Or now, now, now the balance could the balance for what a game could be could be anywhere. Yeah, and, and you're more talking about, I would say. Uh, game actual mechanics 
Mm. You know, when you're talking about is it ex- exploration or RPG, right? For sure. Game balance more comes into no matter what the mechanics are, how do you balance the mechanics? Is is there something that is inherently easier to do? And so, you know, you can do it, but mm-hmm. maybe you get less of a reward or maybe it's easy and you get a high reward, but that's some sort of the lore. This is, yeah. this is less of like how the mechanics balance uh, or, or, or how the game genres inside of it balance and more of the mechanics balance and what the game gets you to do and gotcha. what that makes you feel as a player. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Um, Again, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of getting back to the, like how how does it affect the experience? Yep. All to all mm-hmm. to serve the greater purpose of yep. how can we make this the best experience of this kind of game that we want it to be. Now, game balance is I don't know if it's sort of newer, but it's you didn't have to worry about it as much in single player games. Because <laughs> in single player games, you know, you can just be like, oh, well, it's, it, it's the game is the game. You know, there's whatever balance, you know, mm-hmm. or there is no balance. It's that's what we made it to be. We made it for that and we were happy with it when we, re- when we released it. But balance kind of takes on this other kind of, you know, straight up gameplay mm-hmm. um, uh, 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 terminology when you're talking about PvP and um, co-op games. Yeah, because in PvP, <laughs> it's got to be balanced. Yeah. Oh, it, oh, but yeah, you want it to be balanced. balanced. Well, you want it most, most of the time. You want it to be balanced. Yes, you want it to be balanced in some way. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. I, yeah there might be, you know, in two RTS in an RTS uh, real time strategy game, there might be a uh, one faction that has really expensive but real high quality units, and another faction with you know very cheap low quality units. So. Mm-hmm. How do you balance that? You know, you know, yeah. and it can be balanced, but and that would be asymmetrical balancing mm. between those two factions. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, also, like, especially if you're doing, um, I mean, one of the games that I've I played before for my channel, and I, I think we're gonna pull up later, uh, Robot Eighty Eight. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't want to just face off against someone who's like a much higher rank than you. You don't just want to like, like, oh, I'm just searching for a match. You get just fucking pounded by, yep. by like someone who's a much higher rank. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. It's, terrible. it's yeah. not fun. You don't want to come back and play it more. No. All about that balance. Nope. And, and in, into the balance, you get the rewards in there. You know, mm-hmm. your reward for being paired up badly. Yes. yes. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, and, and to me, PVP isn't even like the interest, the most interesting uh, aspect of game balance because PVP it's straight up all right. Oh, they they need to be balanced yeah. and any any way, shape, or form they could use the stuff uh, in the game to PVP each other needs to be balanced against each other. Yeah. But then you get into ace. But then when you have asymmetrical and symmetrical, it's like, well, we don't have the exact same weapons. You know, I, if I know you're going to use this hero, mm-hmm. right? Or this weapon, I know what weapon or hero I can use to counter it. Yeah, you can strategize. So can... that's the meta. Mm-hmm. The meta is everyone being like, oh, everyone's using this and we don't like them using it. How can we counter it? That's yeah. the meta. The, 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 yes. the, the meta is the, 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 me- the, yeah. the, the tactics that, you, that people derive, whether spoken or unspoken, everyone's like, oh, no, we see a whole cluster of people like yeah. doing yeah. this when they're doing like, yeah. I don't know, like a hero is coming or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 The, the meta is for everyone to use long range weapons. Well, I'm going to get a, maybe a really light character who can move really quick with really powerful close range weapons. Mm-hmm. I'm screwing over the meta, you know? Yeah. I, I'm, yeah. I'm going to ruin this. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to ruin it. And when that gets, you know, when a ton of people pick that up and it's the new meta, <laughs> people will find another meta yeah. to count. Yeah. It's the, a weird, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a weird ever evolving, like, oh, there's game balance. And your players are going to fuck with it and find new ways to exploit it. And you're never going to balance it. That sounds familiar. It sounds really yes, familiar. It sounds very you know? familiar. Yes. And, yeah. And, uh, um, yeah, and that's what, and of course you get terms like uh, revamp, you know, mm-hmm. whether they're going to come in and buff something or nerf something. Nerf something for sure. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, you always hear drama about that for yep. certain, yep. for certain you, large. You have, oh, that's overpowered or, oh, this is underpowered. Mm-hmm. And uh, you get into uh, co-op games where maybe it's co-op against other players or co-op against uh, the environment you have uh, uh, f- funnily enough what are called gimp characters they're underpowered characters who they're in co-op games and so they're they're gimped because mm. they're inherently not as good as the other characters you could choose yeah it's like really what are we, what are we doing here really mm-hmm. really so yeah that that's balance is very important in all sorts of games except maybe single players i mean Look at Skyrim. That is a perfectly balanced game. No exploits, nothing. 100%, you know, game of the year, completely balanced. That's, you know. uh, yeah. 
What? Yeah, I couldn't think of a game that challenges me more as a player. <laughs> Not one. Not one. Not one. You know, I, I look at Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah. I look at I look at you know any puzzle games mm-hmm. I play. Mm-hmm. Nah. Mm-hmm. I look Skyrim. at Dwar- I look at Dwarf Fortress. Oh, piece of cake compared Nothing. to Skyrim. You know, I I would play any of these RTS games. You know, I would play you know, <laughs> C- Civilization or any of this. But you know what? Mm-hmm. Skyrim is really challenging enough for me. <laughs> Skyrim's all I need. Todd all Howard. Need. Yep. He's he's had me covered for the past decade or so. Jesus, more than a never decade release. Now. Never release Elder Scrolls. <laughs> Jesus, no, please never do, please do, it. Todd, Todd, please do, please, 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 very much. I mean. I hold my opinions till after it's released for about sure. how good a game it is, but it would be better for it to be than not to be. I think <laughs> I, I would like something. Okay. okay. After yep. after you know, hey, almost you... double the time between yeah. Oblivion yep. and Skyrim yep. and Skyrim yep. now. Mm-hmm. It's like, what what else have you been doing? Well, you can fish in Skyrim now, so we've solved it. Oh my God. That's all I have to say for game balance. Um, ho- oh. hopefully next episode, uh, Yort will remember. Game balance. Hopefully. I'll remember. <laughs> you'll, you'll you'll remember uh, so, Ludo narrative dissonance. No, no, yeah. <laughs> I'll remember game game mechanics. Jesus, Jesus, that's horrible. You know. Yeah, I know. I am. I am. Reli- I am reliably inconsistent. Yes, reliably inconsistent. So, Yort, you have a a Vidya game you want to talk about? Yes, I do. I um. It's a game. Yes. It is a game that I uh, I really quite rather enjoy. Uh, it is called The Dream Machine. Now, what's really cool about this is that it's um, the whole game was animated basically by um, hand. All of it is handmade, hand-drawn. Mm. Um, it's all clay models moved piece by piece. So as you move, it's all the piece animation okay. of... Um, what is it? All the little figures and stuff. You move forward so you can like see. I don't know oh wow! Yeah. Yes. Reading. <laughs> yes, a lot of reading because a lot of this is it's not voiced, but there is. Um, is it a puzzle it, game or something? Or? It's somewhat of a puzzle game. There are puzzles in it, but it's more story driven than anything else. Okay. It was really weird when I started it up. Not that I started it up, but it was more. You. The basic story of it is you are. A husband and wife that move into an apartment building and everyone starts having really really weird dreams okay and you basically find this machine in the basement that is like siphoning energy from people's minds as they sleep oh god and you have to solve puzzles to like try and get them to wake up or try to get them to mm-hmm. you know come to consciousness to like not be trapped forever Jesus. and it's really it's really cool. It's a really interesting story. Um, the developers are Cockroach Industries, and uh, the publishers are uh, The Sleeping Machine. Yeah. So, okay. you know, it's... Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. It's really... The only thing, the only gripe that I have about the design at all is that, you know... <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I have a hard time kind of finding what to interact with a lot of the times yeah i spent a lot of the time kind of going back and forth and being like what you, is you, you can't look for the animation cells uh-huh. in the in the, yeah. in the objects yeah and sure sometimes they light up but sometimes it's you know not as obvious and sometimes it's a little confusing especially with this one i to i was confused for a while with these journals <laughs> it took me so long and i felt so silly when i finally figured it out is it just in the correct order it's just okay. i had yeah it was just putting it in the correct order because oh i wasn't gosh. sure if it was like do i push the buttons in which they would be set up like i i was overthinking it way too much and mm-hmm. that's another one of my issues with classic it. D uh, puzzle uh, uh scenario yep for sure and a, a few things in which you're like yeah how would i how would i know to do this mm-hmm. yeah how how how? It it varies between like oh I was I should have figured that out a while ago too, who would have thought of this? yeah exactly mm-hmm. but the story and like the world that they've made and designed honestly really outweigh that for me because it is <laughs> it's it's a really fun game it has a really interesting story to tell mm-hmm. I've um it comes in chapters okay yeah and I am up to the third chapter well the third chapter is coming but um. <laughs> uh it is 
It is wild. It's a wild game. Is it? Is it mostly like this, where it's kind of you know, a side, looks like a side scroller? Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's very a uh, puzzle game, like where you get like a scene and you get to look around yes. it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. No. That that it if. <laughs> Yeah, I, the idea of claymation and a uh, video game like completely foreign to me, but this would be the type of game I, that you would have to do it in. I, I would yeah. think. It, you, I mean, you couldn't do like a first-person shooter. I mean, you could, <laughs> you but could. like, oh it'd god, be, it'd be so yeah. Be so oh my wild. gosh, yeah, yes. But, but like, it's I love. Well, sometimes uh, the animation's a little unnerving. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a lot of. I mean, yeah, the the whole like very dark and unnerving is from. Everything I'm getting from this game so far, dark mm -hmm. and unnerving. There's a lot of really, there's a lot of really special like uh, spaces where you can go and find reflective surfaces. And I don't know if it's like something to like to unlock, but there's a lot of ways you can find direct reflections of yourself. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure what it's trying to tell yet, but it's I don't know, like little things that are really interesting. But yeah, this is the machine that uh is siphoning power from all of them of people's okay. dreams okay and i am discovering it because we found because we found uh that homeboy here was putting um cameras above people's beds oh yeah watching them and he was selling it online to make a we don't tiny he, profit with no effort right uh <laughs> luckily he dies before we can get an answer oh, from oh him. good you know, good like, look at this good yeah, I didn't want to help him out. He appears okay. to be sleeping. He, appears to be sleeping. He appears to be stupid. Appears to be sleeping. Because he is stupid. Uh, but it's... I'm excited to see more from it because I I kind of want to show you another part. If you skip like a lot further to go back, back, back a bit more. Go. Yes, there. Like four minutes. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. But yeah, like there's there's a lot of really cool... Um, yeah, this doesn't even look claymation right now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is like one of the dream worlds that you have to like go in. And I, I understand puzzles. Mm -hmm. I understand doing things in a certain sequence. Entrance, like using doors for a puzzle annoys me <laughs> it is one of my least favorite game mechanics um and i don't like it game developers please stop using it hey man i i, I ask please hey man yes what it's just a door i know <laughs> it's fine it's fine no this is definitely the dream machine definitely mm -hmm. it's a portal not a door it's a portal it is a portal but it yes. is a portal yes i get what you're saying but there's um it's quite just all of it all of the designs yeah. the interesting concepts like every one of these heads there are like their memories of people that you have to interact with so you learn about people's stories it's really weird and interesting so i i highly recommend looking it out no this is this is crazy i'm gonna have to <laughs> definitely look at it at some point yes yes it's just sometimes it's very unclear a lot of the times it's very unclear with what to do i mean Puzzle games can get like that. Yeah, I, I yeah. don't want you holding my hand the whole time, but still, it's yeah, it, it's nice to not spend mm -hmm. four minutes wondering which order I should put an anvil on top of a hammer. Hey, yes? I'm pretty sure you use the anvil to smash the hammer. I've thought about that, but mm -hmm. that's fine with me. Yeah, I uh, last episode we kind of teased um the uh. A bit of that. A bit of that uh, Halo Infinite, at least Ooh. the multiplayer that I was able to get a first impression of. How do you feel about it? It's Halo. Yeah. <laughs> it's Halo That's multiplayer. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I, of course, played it shortly after the release. The mul Now, multiplayer Halo Infinite is free. Okay. So I should get it. You should get it. It's free. Okay. Now, the issue is, <laughs> um, I believe you do not get Forge. Um, uh. unless you pay for the campaign, um, which I can sort of understand because oh my god, Forge is so much. I mean, it's popular though. It's it's it's, it's it, popular, yeah, yeah. Um, and I mean, there's been. Uh, are you? 
they 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 decided to go from a we released the game and it's out there and you can play it mm-hmm. model of games to mm-hmm. the seasonal service model oh. of hey so how it works oh, is poor choice Halo Infinite multiplayer um and and I will say this I've heard very good things about the campaign um I have not played it but the multiplayer how it works is you play the game the multiplayer games mm-hmm. there's different playlists which are you know to me Halo's always been kind of weird with the you know playlists you know it's like oh big teams and there's all these different kinds of I always like the different team. game modes. Yeah, and stuff, different yeah. game modes. And, and I mean, it's online. There's been connection issues. People have been literally yeah, banned for, sure. for a couple games because they disconnected. It's like, no, that's not how. That's not so how I works. understand that. But the big issue I have is the seasonal service model where if you pay for a se- if you play a game just regularly like I did, you get experience every uh, fight, depending on how well you do. I suck. <laughs> Let's go. Um, depending on how well you do, you get experience, and that experience levels you up in the season which will unlock things. Mm. Now, if you pay for the season pass, you get like three times as many things as you level up. And what are these things? Cosmetics. Ah. Uh. They're, they're, they're pretty much... That I'm fine with. Sell cosmetics all you want. Mm-hmm. But the fact that it's like a season pass, it's limited to the season, and you might not ever get it again, um, that really exploits the people who have gambling issues and the vulnerable, yeah, the, the people I who have an issue. That's, that's it's, all, it's, all the online stuff. It's like, okay, cosmetics, we'll do cosmetics for sure. And then they go for the most exploitative way it's the to word. get those people. They're like, it's limited it's, time. Get it now. You're, or yeah, you'll miss it's a it. terrible cycle to get your fans into. It's to, like, so, well, well, to get anyone, because especially if you don't know you have a gambling issue and you've never gambled, it's like, Ooh, I, yeah. I need to get this season pass. And it's like, well, now you, I, I really think, I really think this is, if not going to take over gambling and a lot of people are going to have gambling issues with, you know, online oh, transactions. But, oh, a hundred percent, man. Like, yeah. I mean, not to, not to blame it all. It's, on, it's, know, it's Halo, not, it's not know, just but, Halo Infinite. But it's, yeah. But it's, I mean, Halo's definitely not helping. No, they're you definitely know, not it's, helping. It's, got, yep. it's, it's one of the most popular mm-hmm. franchises and yep. it should, it, it's not something that they should be doing. Yeah. I, I I always enjoy it more when like you earn the cosmetics because that's always well, I, well that's what I always thought made it cool because it was like mm-hmm. you like yeah man this guy played eight hundred hours well, and he got the certain well yeah and and it wasn't just like you say that you say earn and I can see Halo Infinite being like oh no you earn it you have to play a certain number of games get a certain amount of XP from doing things in those games you earn it. Mm-hmm. Well, no, because I first have to pay for a season pass, and then I have to earn it. Yeah, Not yeah. to mention, if you you can buy boosters to boost yeah. your experience, which is like okay. Yeah, yeah that's, that's yeah. just that's not and, the model. And you no. say earn, and I remember um, uh, people always talk about Halo Three and how you would earn uh, stuff in Halo Three, and like you said, yeah. you would have to play for this many hours, right? Mm-hmm. You either have to play for this many hours. Uh, I think there was one helmet that you could only get if you played with a developer in a multiplayer game. Oh, damn. And, and yeah, they, they, they were rewards that weren't like, oh, just give us money and play the game and you'll get it. They were rewards that were like, they're random. They could happen. They could not. They they, they could literally be seasonal. Yeah. But like... Well, well, but from what I understood with Halo 3, it wasn't seasonal. It was like for uh, the entire lifetime of the game, right? For sure. I mean, yeah. granted... Less and less developers usually play a game as time goes on, yeah. but there's always a chance, you know, that you play with a developer and you get the cool cosmetic that the, you know. Yeah. But it was, just, yeah, I, yeah, the the buying it with the seasonal pass, yep, is is annoying, especially like if if you're making it free to play. I don't know. Yeah, they're making it free to play, and they're the, gonna get the, you on the. They're gonna get the whales and the people who have gambling issues, and which is which yeah. is an, which is sad because like they have they have such a great fan base of people who love their games, and it's like you could have like you could have I don't know you could have made it you could have released like a, the I don't know it as a game maybe and just not had those microtransactions and and, yeah. and roundabout microtransactions I guess yeah you know it, it'll be interesting to see what they do with the seasons and everything because. Yeah, it'll be interesting. <laughs> it'll, you know, it'll, we'll it, it'll be weird and interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to playing the the campaign. I've heard good things about the campaign, and I'm looking forward to playing it. Um, but I cannot speak... As of now, I cannot speak highly of the multiplayer, mm. uh, especially with the season pass. That's not great. But Halo Infinite out there, free-to-play multiplayer if you like Halo Infinite. I'll have to give that a shot because, you know, if it's a free-to-play game, I like a free-to-play free game. Free-to-play game, which, yeah, it's Halo. It's Halo, baby. I like a free-to-play game. Yes, uh, very much. Halo great. 
not this Halo so much. <laughs> At least the, uh, you know, unsavory things about it. Yes. Yort, you have yes. you have something? Yes. Anything? Uh, the next game I want to talk about is called Penumbra. Penumbra. Yes, it Penumbra. is a game developed by, developed and published by Frictional Studios, which are the same people that um, developed and published Amnesia. Ooh. And I had seen like a couple playthroughs of Amnesia when I was like. You know, on YouTube back in the day, so like I, 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 I would want to play that for the. It looks channel. like Amnesia. It's very dark. Yes, <laughs> it it runs the same <laughs> it, engine, okay. all the all the same stuff. But I had never played an Amnesia game, so I'm like, okay, this is probably as close as I can get to Amnesia without actually playing, you know, Amnesia. Yes. So, I was going through this one, and I am, the concept of like moving things, uh, yes, like moving objects is so foreign to me. <laughs> yep. There was a. I had to cut out a bunch of time where I'm just sitting there and I'm like, mm-hmm. "Well, I can't look. I can't look at the creature that's trying to kill me. So I gotta sit here, but I can't. I don't know where it's going. Yep. So do I? How do I throw this rock? Like there were the mm, playing playing this game. <laughs> playing this game has been a very has been very interesting for me. Because have you played an Amnesia game? Have you? Have I've you watched, watched some Amnesia, um, mm-hmm. but yeah. Oh God, I do not want to play Amnesia. No yeah, offense. it's it's all, it's annoying in the sense that, like earlier we were talking, like I can't. Uh, I have a really like I can I can get the items. I can find all the items. I have no idea what you want me to do with them. Sometimes, yep. like yes, I understand you gave me you gave me an instruction manual on explosives. Um, you're telling me I need a contain. Like, yeah, they're just like little things that I don't have. Yeah, I'm figured out yet. Yeah, 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 but I like it so far. It's it's it's, it's very much a game based on uh, audio cues, okay. like a lot of horror games for sure. But um, it's a TNT barrel. I don't know if you can tell. No. Nope. Um, it has explosives. But um, what is it? Move stuff around. Blow stuff up. Blow stuff up. I was saying something about. What was it? I, I can't remember. You, well, you're, 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 not you're saying stuff out. about you can give me all the resources and you know all the manuals, and I just don't know what to do. <laughs> For sure. Well, that's just me with any horror game, I guess. Yeah. Well, it is but, also isn't it like a horror puzzle game? Yes. But like puzzle game to me, I understood it was kind of a puzzle game, kind of like Half Life puzzles. Like you have yeah. to move stuff. You have to move stuff in the environment around. Yes. And kind that's, of cheese stuff. You know, kind of. You know, finagle yeah, it. That's more of it than than yep. uh, than like I would say the room, yeah, or something else like that. Because yeah, like I can I can clearly tell like the explosives go, but um yeah, as you will see, sometimes you know you can get too close to things, and it's it's it is fun. I do enjoy it because it does give me a little spook, because I have no idea what's going on in the story. Other than that, I'm being. Tra- chased by giant spiders and undead dogs. Oh, that's a UI. That's a that was a yeah. that's a very great UI uh, inventory there. Oh, 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 look at that. Anytime I um, anytime that I like, Control Shift Tab out of the game, I try to come back. It like shifts up and off. Oh, gosh, and I just died. Uh, yeah, explosives. I uh, yeah. Well, you know, just hide behind some wood boxes if it's gonna blow up the rock. I did. <laughs> no, no, I got you. Yeah, uh, eh, it's fine. It's fine. But it's um, it's a horror puzzle game. It's a horror puzzle game. I I like that I don't fight very much. I like that I have to run. Um. Oh my god! Is I guess this is the enemy or you? Took no, no, I'm just dying because I was close to the explosion oh still. So so you don't it, you don't have health. You have a glowing red aura. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 But that is a look at oh gosh the oh, <laughs> yes it's it's definitely a, a little dated yeah but it's it's fun no yeah I'm enjoying it it looks interesting oh yeah definitely yeah. yes the classic the, 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 the text box yes yeah, the, the 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 text box this is your mission coming up yep yep but I uh I enjoy I enjoy it, it's a fun mechanic to not be able to look at the enemy yes that's something Always. that uh. <laughs> I am struggling with now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like, oh, the oh, nope, don't, nope, don't, 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 don't. don't. Well, I, then how can I tell what they're doing? Yeah. Well, great. Yeah. Are yeah. they coming towards yeah. me? I can hear them getting closer. Are they just walking around? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The the struggle and the the fear are very fun to build up. Yeah. 
I've got a uh, played a little open world game called Till Nord. Ooh, it's I just a you. snowmobile simulator, and I love it. <laughs> really? All there is to do in the game is literally drive from place to place. Let's go. Like that is it. Like the game gives you some checkpoints, and then it's like, okay, there's map markers that you know, and if you drive from this place to this place and deliver some explosives here, it'll blow up the thing, and you can open up a new. It is literally just yeah. Yeah, it's so it sounds like a kind of like a Tony Hawk kind of game. Pretty much, it's it's Yo. Pre- yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that pretty- sounds like so much fun. Yeah, the, I mean, the only downside to it, it's a free game, you know, and I can I mean, understand, you know, based on its uh, uh, um, development and publishing. Um, I believe it was pub- it was I believe it was published or developed by a uh, uh, college uh, or students at a college. Mm. Um, over in Europe, I can't remember the exact. Um, oh gosh, yeah. Slam. You don't. T- you don't take damage. The only way to die, I found, is uh, drive into the water. Oh, and it'll okay. just yeah, and it, it and it deals with death very simply. It just kind of respawns you nearby. Can you dismount? No. Oh. Nope. You were you were you were Mister Snowmobile in. Centaur, and Brilliant. you are gonna snowmobile all over this map. Um, and I mean, for for how small of a game it is, I really feel like they spent their resources wisely you know i mean there's like some detailed snow um physics and stuff when you're driving through the snow and you're mm-hmm. leaving snow tracks um there's a whole day night cycle and you can turn Ooh. your lights on in your vehicle there's a ton of jumps it's just it's a it's a little it's not a little game it seems like a pretty large map Dude, those ramps look fun yes yeah a yeah. lot of this like, I, I can imagine just the speed you can go you can yeah. ramp off a ton of stuff and of course when you ramp your uh wasd Oh yeah, and this is like oh, I it's telling me about a mission I need to do, or, or no, this is the intro to the game. So I just finished oh. the tutorial, and it's like yeah, this is Till Nord, and Very cool. you can go all over there up to those mountains, I believe. Yeah, Ooh, you can go across the water. Well, yeah, the next thing I believe I do is I open up that bridge because it's blocked, so I get some explosives. Very, oh, well, <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Yep, yep, and I believe this do I take it? Yeah. No. Oh. oh. Yep. Oh yeah. Let's go. Yeah, and you can yeah your WASD like I was saying become your flips. Oh, so okay, like W's okay, front yeah, yeah, yeah. flip, S is back flip, A is like a side. It's it's so great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're just you, dr- yeah. This is all you do. I love it. Can you get like cosmetic parts for it? Um. So when you open like the escape menu, you can like change the color of oh, your okay. vehicle. Um. I believe I don't think there was different vehicle types. I think it was just like two or three colors you could choose from. Okay. Like I said. Large map, lots of like just driving, just driving yeah, around, just going. Like they really spent their resources wisely on this, and it's got a decent soundtrack too. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's developed it's, by a college. I, 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 it's published or developed by a college uh, in Europe. I can't remember. It's free to play. That's a lot of snowman. I, I, I don't know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Collectible snowman. Um, yeah, I, I cannot remember. Like I said, if the uh... yeah, and there's also times where like oh, you can just. Just, just, yeah. Just try, <laughs> just try to go over it. It's, it might be possible. It might be. Yeah. This is, oh god. Yeah. Oh god. This, if this was a real, a real one. Yeah. I, this I is why I love totally. simulators. Because it's like if I was doing this with a real thing, this oh would be yeah, the, I would cause so many, so many amounts of like damage to yes. things to myself and yeah, just others. the environment yep. to, to to people to people <laughs> yep. to houses. Yep. <laughs> no, I love it, and I'll definitely like it's a you know, uh, definitely not a you know demanding game you can probably run this in a window on almost any machine mm-hmm. just free game ton of fun with it you know yeah i and check it out because it looks it looks fun till nord baby till nord like is snowmobile simulator i need to get some some good handling on on, on <laughs> racing because i that's that's something i've always been sorely lacking and i'm not good at racing games and, and this is less of a, of a racing game i'd say more of an exploration uh game but like <laughs> there's definitely I, I i don't remember if there's like time tra- there's different like events and quest there's like quests which like open up the world mm-hmm. and then there's like um random events and stuff like time trials and stuff like that so yeah it's definitely interesting yeah that's the yeah you gotta turn v-sync off yeah yeah just because i wanted to see if i leave v-sync on i can't tell what the frame rate is because it's at 60 <laughs> and i dislike that but yeah i had no performance issues with it whatsoever uh, very decent game. Very nice. Check that out. Till Nord. Till Nord. T I L space N O R D. Not T L L. Not like mm-hmm. until something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. T I L. What does it mean? 
I don't know. What does it mean to Nord? I don't know. What does it mean to Till Nord? I don't know. Well, ride around on a snowmobile. Should I? Should I? Well, if it does, I should. I should write the team. You should. You I should get like, on that. Excuse me. Let me know if you hear back from them. I will. I will but, say. Uh, I. I don't know if you know who I am. I'm Yort. But I'm Yort. <laughs> no, I'm not Yort. I mean, that's I, Yort. I am Yort. And Yort has another. I am a part of a podcast, and we have a question. <laughs> Yort has Would another. Would you please video answer me if you don't? Yeah. I won't give your family back. Oh, you oh! Won't. So you're just going straight to kidnapping? <laughs> oh, no, no, no! I heard it here first, them. everyone. I'm going to tell them. Kidnapper. That I'm going to tell them, and then they're going to call them. Like, oh my god! So you're going to threaten not, no, I'm not. kidnapping? No, no. I'm going to say it already happened, which is not threatening. No, that is I, threatening. No, 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 no. I'm no lawyer, Yort, but no, uh, you're not a lawyer. You should probably retain one. It sounds you're like if you're going one. into this business <laughs> of threatening to kidnap. No, I just want to know what tell Lord means. I don't know. You should call him up. Yeah, I should call him up. But uh, uh, <laughs> you got another game for us, York? <laughs> uh, let's see. Heavy bullets. Yeah, Heavy that is bullets. another game that I wanted to bring up that has brought me quite a bit of fun and a little bit of annoyance because I enjoy the way that the game is set up. But oh baby, it is a uh, a video game. It, it is a video game for sure. Oh boy, this is. It looks like the walls look like ice cream, but it looks like you you a uh, like a vaporwave mm-hmm. album. But essentially, you are, um, you're a bunch of employees. This is some kind of reserve, and like the rich and powerful come here, and they have to like fight their way through eight levels. But someone just is like, "Hey, there's five thousand dollars at the bottom of the, of the eighth level in the mainframe." Ooh, five thousand. Go down there and get it. Yeah. And so, you play essentially, I guess, an infinite number of employees having to like make your way through the preserve. And fight and like earn money to heal yourself, get like items, oh. uh, get bullets. And every bullet you shoot, you have to like reload each one individually. What do you mean? Like you shoot, you have to reload, or you can you can shoot six bullets, but you have to reload each one individually. Okay. So you have to press R yeah. six times to reload the full Gosh. gun. Yes. Do, do you? It looks like you're picking the bullets up after you shoot them. Is that part of it? Yes. Okay. That's another thing. You can lose bullets. You can buy more bullets. Okay. But uh, you can only get more money from killing enemies. Oh, you're poisoned. Okay. So yes. there's st- status effects too. Yes. But you can get antidotes to not yeah. get um, mm-hmm. well to heal yourself and also like sprays to yeah. like not. Because I see you have like three health. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have like no health, so you die really easy. Gosh. Now, I, it took me a minute to kind of, like, figure it out because I died so much. But um, When you die, is that, like, when you become another employee? Is it roguelike in that way? In, okay. in that way, yeah, because there's no, like, there's a bunch of... The game isn't procedurally generated. I think there's, like, eight or ten different preset, like, level ones or first levels that are, like, similar maps but just kind of set up differently hmm. that you work your way through. Okay. So like the entrance could be at one at one part of the map here during one um on one level and then on a different like version of the level it's over here but it's like the same kind of map just things are shifted around a little bit killed by a snake worm yes i did not like the snake worms i do not like them whatsoever <laughs> but um it's but like a, a really interesting mechanic is you can put the money you earned in away in the bank and then when you die and come back, you can take that money out to, like, buy more stuff. Okay, yeah. It's a weird kind of economic system. No, there's a couple of rogue, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, Sunless Seas is like that. Mm. If you get enough money in the game, you can, like, save it for your heir, whoever your uh. heir is. And when you die in the game, the next character you play, whatever character you create, will be your heir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, so it's yeah. like that. And there's there's all kinds of items you can you can get and you can take and... But um, if you die, you go back to level one. No matter what. No matter oh, what. Okay. Um, I am hoping and praying. Well, I, I have gotten to level four. And I am thinking that now that I've gotten past level four, um, it'll, it'll only knock me back to level four. <laughs> and, that, and that's only predicated on the fact that when you look at the level, like when you go from one to the other, it like four is in like a purple instead of a white. So I hope. I, I'm, okay. re- I'm really hoping. Okay. Cause I, cause if I have, oh, yeah, not fun. Look at. Oh. It, it's it's a very busy game, but yeah, oh my gosh, yes. I'm loving it. It's a fun time. Gosh. It's a very fun time. I I highly recommend it. If you uh definitely can get it. 
on like a sale or something. It's a fun time. It's a great, it's a great time to just kill away little imps and little demons and snake worms because there's a lot of them. Snake worms. Yeah, and there's, it's a, uh, it's interesting because it 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 does it does bring in new character not new characters but like new enemies to fight each time. But it doesn't like, like explain them. Not, not really new. They just they just come running at you and you have six bullets. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. But yeah, heavy bullets is a fun one. I have I highly recommend it. Very fun. Heavy bullets. Check it out, gamers. Yes, yes, yes. You see, you see, you see, you see. I uh. Could it be? I'm gonna save that for the end. Okay. okay. I'm gonna save okay. that for the end. Um. Yeah. All right. Something coming up. Something, Something exciting. That's pretty difficult. It's um. Like- no, I want to talk about uh, Apex Legends. I think this is a good one to talk about if you're going to talk about game balance. Let's go. What do you know about Apex Legends? Uh, I've heard a couple memes. Okay, that's not... <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, it's a free-to-play, um, co-op, PvP, shooter, hero game. Okay. So... There's multiple heroes to choose from. You choose your hero at the start of every round. That hero has different special abilities, which are required powers, right? Okay. Um, You can see I put down that dome shield there. That was my character's thing, was he can put down a dome shield. But also, you you all have guns. You can choose whatever guns you want to start out with at the beginning of the game. Um, There's different game modes and everything, but essentially, this is the Battle Royale one. So yeah, the ring closing, we're going to have to move in. Okay. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it now. I'm starting to understand. I can see the appeal. Mm -hmm. I'm not... I played it, and immediately after, like, finishing my first impression, I uninstalled it. Yeah. This this game, if you're going to play this, you you need to play it with people who, like, you enjoy playing with, you know? Yeah. Um, But, yeah, and going within game balance, there's a ton of heroes... There's, like, six or eight that you get at the beginning, and there's, like, three times that that you can buy. So the balance issues there. Yeah. Um, other than that, though, it's cosmetics. Other than the heroes, it's cosmetics. Okay. So it's like a uh, Dota and League of Legends, right? Okay. Yeah. Not too not too far off yeah. of that. Uh, yeah. Um, what is yeah. It? That algorithm. Uh, that, that 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 strategy of like you can mm. buy a hero, everything else is cosmetic, and uh, um, not, not buying weapons. Yeah. Well, buying weapons and stuff you do at the beginning, and you're you're about to see this at like the beginning of each round of the match. Like, we, yeah, won that round, and we're going to round two. Here are the guns I can buy. Mm. Um, I can mm. buy different powers, you know. I have uh, my dome shield here. I can buy a charge for it. I can, you know, I can buy these different, you know, helpful things. It's Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can buy st- – it's like CSGO. At the beginning of CSGO, you have X amount of money you buy up. You buy it, for sure. Yeah. Okay. And I didn't really pay attention, but, like, yeah, saved last round, current round bonus kills and canisters – like mm. you can get depending on what you do in each round you get more money for the next round gotcha. so gotcha so the better the better performance well the more yeah and not only that if you stomp with the other team in one round now you have an asymmetrical balance mm-hmm. where the team you know could have a ton of resources and use them on that next round or do you hold out cuz you know that they're going to think that you have a ton of resources that you spent this round and of course, it accumulates in the last round, being everyone gets the best stuff of everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, th- it's just like I said, like that 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 idea of like each round you choose what weapons and stuff you're gonna have and have to pay for it. I never like that. Like if I if I'm yeah. gonna play a multiplayer online game shooter or whatever, I'm gonna want to be like, okay, cool. This is what I have every time I go in. I yeah, don't like, want. I want to be consistent with my with my loadout. Yeah, and and like I think you're right. Like looking at everything, it definitely looks like it's a game that that's meant to be played with a with a, with a yeah. like a tight group of friends. Yeah. No. And yep. I I I don't know about you. I'm not someone who who consist who consistently games with a small group of people. Yes. For yes. something like this, as someone who prefers a uh, 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 semi sing- as someone who prefers single player and co op games, yes, mm-hmm. very much so. Now, yeah. I, I like I said, I see the appeal for it. For sure, it um, looks fun, and, and yeah, it's interesting. Um, and of course, they do the season thing yeah. again. But again, it's cosmetics. But also, it's it's, the, it's cosmetics. But oh, it's here this season. We'll be here next year. Yeah, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. So, I wasn't very interested in it, but I can definitely see the appeal. And um, I think there is some competitive um, 
Apex stuff. Oh, oh for sure. sure. I know yeah. there's a lot of um, Overwatch e sports yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. esports and stuff. I I never really that got was, into that, was, that. But yeah, because Apex was the was the game that like Overwatch was like really in kind of competition with the, for there in a minute, right? Mm -hmm. Or it was like one just way over the other. Was Overwatch way over? From my Apex. understanding, like Overwatch outperformed it, but yeah. I might be wrong. For sure. I mean, yep. it's. I, I never got into either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Games like that, I'm like, they're cool. I'd have to, I'd have to completely really get into it. Yeah. Or like, because if if I just kind of like play it casually, it's like I'm gonna want to, I'm gonna want something like Halo where I know what I'm gonna have every time I go into the game. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. even like kind of doing that for like, <laughs> like Call of Duty or like yeah. Halo, I was like. Yeah, yeah, like, just, just the, <laughs> the amount of time it was to, like, build up even just one of these characters. It was like, yeah, I don't want to do this <laughs> yeah. this much. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Okay. Your, I have another game. I would hope so. That's uh, why we're here. I want to pull up Zero Degrees North, Zero Degrees West. This is, uh, you were on it. One over. A boom. This one is a bit of a strange one, because oh, okay. as in a lot of games, I have no idea what I'm doing when I'm stepping into it, because so I have to go with it with a fresh mind. That's, you know? that's a good way to go into games. I want to I wanna figure out what I'm doing. Yeah, talk about a game that literally has no dialogue. Okay. No one, no one to meet, no one to talk to. It is, you are walking through a Vaporwave album simulator <laughs> this is what this game is it's, it's music i would assume There's there music. is okay. very little music okay and the, ga the music kind of tricks me into thinking that i'm making progress or i'm going somewhere or i'm getting closer to something mm -hmm. no that is not the case uh you are just constantly if you you're just constantly just going and there's beautiful landscapes that it goes through like i got stuck in this one for a minute and you can like you find portals to one to the other, and uh, but like there's no objective. You see these sprites, but like I think they're collectibles. They're not. And it's like, just a walking simulator in a vaporwave setting. That's what it feels like. Okay. That's what it feels like. And there are things where I'm like I I, I think that there might be something I'm supposed to do, but like I get to it and I'm like nope. Hmm? It's really like I just eventually I'm like screw it, <laughs> just walk off into the void I guess, and it's. <laughs> And it's it just lets you. It lets you. Oh god. It oh god. You. Oh oh. Yeah. It's, okay. It's really okay. weird. It's really strange. Oh, like it goes through tons of these. Oh my gosh. And this it, is. It's this a bit much. Over. It's a bit much. But like, it, I want to play it. I want to play it now. Yeah. yeah. Like I go through it, and I'm like, you keep, you keep walking through it, and I'm like, okay. Watch your eyes for. I know. Sure. <laughs> I know. I. Just but just. Like, but the landscapes oh themselves look. Are, are fun to like traverse mm -hmm. because the traversing things is very smooth. You can jump over things, but there's just, and there's like invisible, there's invisible houses and things. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's like a, Oh my, yeah. You're in one now. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, I don't under, I'm still very confused by this game. I have you now. Here's a question. When you start the game, what happens if you restart? Are you in the same, or every time you start up the game, it takes you to an, uh, uh, the, where you were. I have not tried that. Okay. I have not tried that. I really want there, to fool around with this game. There is. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's it's really pretty. Oh it's really pretty. Like, there's there's parts where, like, you ha you can, like, really focus on color dif differences and changes. And, like, it's like a kaleidoscope sometimes, this game. Is, is it, yeah. It, it very yeah, much is like yeah, a kaleidoscope. No, sure. And it's, like, I, I, <laughs> I want to think, like, I'm sure I'm like, do they deliberately put these things here? Is this all like, if this is all planned, this is wild. One that you made this and then put nothing in it. Well, <laughs> no, there's tons in I it, mean, there's tons but in nothing it. to interact nothing with. Nothing to interact yeah. with, nothing to pick up, nothing to do. And there's a part later where like, clearly I'm like, there's got to be something. <laughs> there has to be something here. Oh my God. There's, 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 there's like, it looks like a big temple. It looks like this. There's giant floating entities. And I, you get there, and it's just... It's just... Because, like, you'll see, like, weird things off in the distance. You'll be like, oh, what's that? Oh, that's a portal. Oh, that's the portal. Okay. So what happens when you go through the portal? Mm -hmm. You just go to another place again? Sometimes. Sometimes? <laughs> Some. I mean... Okay, so portal. All right. Yeah, hyper we just hyper know. speed. Yeah. Colors bending. There's... And... Oh, gosh. And this place. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this place... 
I yeah, I want to go over there. I want to go all the way over there. What's I over spent there? a lot of time trying to get over there around in here. Uh huh. And let me tell you, I couldn't find anything. <laughs> I couldn't find everywhere that looks like it has something. Yes. I I know. No. There's but like, but but to me that's that's the joy of it is like I, I see know. something in the distance and I want to go check it out. I know. Just to look at and it. You can. That's the thing is oh, everywhere gosh. that looks like you can go check it out, you 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 can. Either that or just voids you out and sends you somewhere else. Oh man. And it's just nonstop. Zero degrees north by zero z- degrees west. Oh gosh. It is. And if you find something, like there's this there's this thing, this big ass <laughs> temple. And I'm, uh, I don't. I'm not trying to like ruin the. Experience, no, no, no. But, I love this. I love I everything am, about this. But I am so confused. It, like again, what I do like about it, like I make my own little stories. I'm like, what yeah. is this place? Because like clearly there's tables and benches and like stairs here. But like, well, from your from your experience, yeah, and there's tables, these benches. things. <laughs> oh my god! Whoa, my and god. it's like I don't know what this is. Yeah. But like, I don't know. It's just it's a very. It's a very interesting game. And I was, I, it's not that I was disappointed by it. I was more confused by anything. <laughs> and I, I enjoy the confusion. And it entertained you for some time, yeah. apparently. Oh, like oh it entertained, entertained me yeah, like a game for, for at least an, an hour yeah. or so. Because yes. I was just, man, I was confused. I'm, that, that's definitely another one, another game that I'm like, I need to check this out. Yes, for oh sure. Because I, that's the only thing, honestly, that, well, the only thing that I would I would want more in that game is if there was a better soundtrack. Yeah. That's all. Mm-hmm. Just a, a, I understand like people would want like a peaceful experience, you know, maybe traversing it, but I'm like, I would love, mm-hmm. I would love just some kind of like lo-fi beat maybe at some point. Yep. Cause it looks, it looks, it looks like, <laughs> like a, like a vaporwave album. <laughs> yeah. It looks, it looks beautiful oh that, you know, the, the aesthetics of the neon and everything. Mm-hmm. I like it a lot. What do you got pulled up for us here? I've got uh, 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 an old game, real old game. Not as old as the original, of course, but this is Day of the Tentacle Remastered. Oh, damn. Um, This is, yeah, this is the remastered um, view right now. Uh, Like many remastered games, it has a uh, button you can click and switch Mm. between the old and the new. And oh my gosh, the pixels are giant in the old one. It's like, because it it was pixel graphics. It was like pixel graphics. It was... Oh, do so, you have an example of it? Or um, I do in my video of my first impression. Um, Ooh, I, I, can, I don't want to see it. I can you... try and find one. <laughs> I want to see how it does. I know I did it toward the end of the game. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> see, now you got me looking for it. No, no, but sorry, I mean, sorry, if you sorry. play Day of the Tentacle, you know what this is. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That's the old. That's the Ooh. old. There, there's the there's the original. That That's is. the remastered. You can see they did quite a bit of work to bring this into yeah. this looks, decade. Looks much better. Yes. Looks much yes. better. Yes. I have heard today that Day of the Tentacle, but I've never played it. It's I, it's wacky. It's I, wacky. It's crazy. There's, I love that art style. There's an evil scientist, but he's actually sort of a good guy. But he's like the good guy, and yeah. the tentacle is the evil tentacle that's trying to overthrow the world. And there's time travel and for sure. Well, of course. You're playing three different characters that are all in different time periods. It's, oh, damn. Okay. Okay. It's a whole... It's it's a cross-time... It's a cross-time, cross-puzzle, and your time machine is essentially a porta potty <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. The the humor in this um is, is right on par for what you think a wacky, crazy puzzle adventure game is i was gonna say it kind of reminds me of like captain underpants the style yeah 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 for sure for sure i can definitely see it bringing that um Mm -hmm. that that vibe that kind of cartoony aesthetic it is yeah i love it because like this i don't know the character design is always so clear Mm -hmm. and it's so i don't know just well done I, i appreciate that very much it's 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 cool looking yeah no but it's a point and click oh point and click yeah but like Oh, yeah, there I went back Ooh. again. Yeah. 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 But, like, and you can highlight pretty much, like, everything you can click on in the game. But there's different options. Like, oh, I want to inspect it. Oh, I want to walk to it. Oh, I want to touch it. So, it's a very, it's not just a look for the stuff you have to click kind of an adventure game. So, that's. Okay. So, it gives you, like, a set number of, like, 
ways to interact with something and it's like you can click yep. on the highlighted objects mm -hmm. where it's like I can either like look at or I can try and touch a light bulb. Mm -hmm. Yep. Or it'll be like, yep. oh, can't do that. Yeah. It's very it's very trial and error because like uh, or just a second ago I went to pick up and it's like, ooh, you, I can't pick that up, my character says out loud to yeah. no one in particular. So I yeah. love it when games do that. Yeah. I, I Day, Day of the Tentacle is a classic. Good enough to get a remaster and decent remaster at that. I'm proud of it. So yeah. It looks like a fun time. It is, I would say, quite fun. Okay. Day your, of your tentacle. My, day of your tentacle. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Could be. Day of your tentacle. You got a. You got a. You got a game. Your. I. I, I only have. have one more. So, you keep going with whatever games you got. Your. No, I got a. Um. Next one I want to pull up that I want to talk about that I haven't talked about before is uh. Oh, do we have high hell up here? We do. Yes, we, we do. High hell. Did I know. I, I, I've talked about high hell, haven't I? I do not remember talking about high hell. Well, high hell is a first-person shooter that I have found. Uh, you are a punk-ass demon who are who is running around and destroying the um, drug, chimp, and dog pimping trade of hell. Jesus. And you kill enemies. To get to like charge up your battery that um you uh that you fire your gun with. Now you firing your gun doesn't use ammo, but when you get hit, takes away your charge, and you can die really really easily. But if there's a lot of enemies, you can shoot them a lot quicker than they can shoot you. Okay. But well, also like they they can if 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 an enemy hits you, it takes out a lot of your health. Oh, okay. So it's it's not a very Oh, that's how you in the you just yes, jump you off just, and you just off of every nice. single one. It's very fun, and every single one has this. Every single mission has this in between, mm -hmm. where like you can mess around with things. Oh gosh! Like um, there's one where you can um, like there's a whole bunch of cheeseburgers around one of those minions, and you can tap the cheeseburgers, and he eats the cheeseburgers and he gets big. You have to rescue the chimps in this one. So like, there's all kinds of like crazy stuff that's happening in this game. It's not very long, um, but. Some of the boss fights were definitely a little grueling because yeah. you uh you only get energy back when you kill other people, not when you shoot them. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, so bosses okay. bosses can stomp you, and there's one that just kind of runs up on you and just keeps kind of just destroying you, mm -hmm. unless like you're constantly backing away. And if you miss for a second, you uh you're dead. But there's a there's a lot of fun things about this game that I enjoy. It's a uh, it's very fun. You can see I'm rescuing chimps, and you can oh you can also find piles of money and burn it. Burn it. Um, yeah. Oh, and so you just start the level from the beginning. yeah. You just start from the level. You don't start from all the way back from zero. But there's a uh, there's some that are definitely some trials. Oh yeah, no, this is very bullet helly. Bullet hell? Oh, I think what, I bullet bullet hell. You're trying to shoot. And there's usually projectiles coming in, mm -hmm. although it seems like your projectiles and the enemy projectiles are about the same speed, which is really quick. So it's more, yeah. I try and shoot first. There's less dodging in this. Bullet hell usually is dodging involved. But it's cool because, yeah, now that you know where you're, it's very, it's kind of like Dark It's kind of like dark Souls in the fact that <laughs> when you know where you have to go, you have the jump on the enemy. And so you can get a, you know, mm -hmm. more health uh, 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 in this game, which I would say, you know. A reward to get to the end of the game like that. Yeah, because they, they they do love the the scoring, mm -hmm. as you can see at the end of every episode. Look at all these. Chips. Oh gosh! Look at all of them. They do things. Oh my gosh! It's I just think. this is a little. It's a fun. I love the yeah. art style of it. I love the. Uh, it's simple but effective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The color, all of it is a, it's a fun time. Professor, Professor Math. Math. Oh my yes. gosh! It's very, you know, oh, he brainwashed the chip. Oh no! The chip so you know, it, there are parts like that will make you be very upset. Yeah, but once you kill him, you know he d can't bring us the chimps anymore, right? That's fair. That's fair. That's Good fair. to hear. Well, you'd have to check out Yort's channel to see yes. if he kills Professor Meth. Yes, because Professor Professor <laughs> Perf <laughs> Professor Meth, he's out there. He's causing problems, and maybe dead. We hope. Maybe dead. We hope. hopefully. Uh, Yort, it's all you. I got. I got one uh, more game. Are we talking about upcoming games? Are we talking about? We're, we're still talking about games we played recently, okay, and or want to talk about. I'm making sure. I'm. I, I like I said. I got one, and it's gonna be a while. So, 
All right. So, so last one is going to be sword with sauce. Sword with sauce. Is this one you have pulled up right here? Okay. It's uh, didn't mean to pressure you into that. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, this is a game. It's a first person shooter. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting in that um, very simple artistic design. Mm -hmm. The game modes there aren't very many. There's like survival where like they just keep throwing waves after wave after wave. Um, there's like little missions where it's like 30 people or like a, a set number uh, that you have to clear out and none of your every you can't reload weapons mm -hmm. you can only pick up enemies weapons now you say have, you say you can't reload so if you run out of ammo you have to you ha you can't do anything you have to find another weapon okay all mm -hmm. right all right and that's why there is the sword which doesn't run out of ammo Yep. There's like the shotgun, which has like six shots, but it's cluster, yeah. And, mm -hmm. yep. and there's like the uh, the assault rifle that has like thirty shots, okay. but it's um constantly just grabbing and trading new ones, yeah, and not thinking about it. What what, what game? Oh no, that, that was an, yeah, yeah. No, there, there there's been different games. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah no, there's it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty ridiculously gory too. I love yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, there's a there's a large amount of blood. I, it reminds me a lot of like the. Oh, you can't ADS. Okay. I was just going to ask. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Because I was about to say, with the limited ammo and you're shooting these highly visible projectiles, could you aim better? <laughs> yeah, no. You can abs like you can, yeah. you can kind of snipe with these things. You can get some great... some great uh, ADS going. Uh, yes. It's a, it's a fun one. It reminds me a lot of like the old stick figure like action flash games oh, or yeah. uh, videos yeah. like in the early 2000s. Because like, those were... Yeah. No, yeah, this is another game that like it knows what it's trying to go for, and very simply used the the resources it had. Yeah, it's not there's there's not a whole lot to it. Not a whole lot of bells and whistles, but definitely a compelling. Okay, yeah, so you, that one you killed everyone. All right. Yeah, like once you. Yeah, get, yeah, yeah, yeah. End of the game. This is your time. You did it all. Congratulations. And you have yeah, and you can you can create your own game mode apparently. Okay. There's a lot of of other parts of it that I haven't really. Yeah. Oh, they have a forge. Yeah, oh. they have a forge system. Okay. Yeah. They have a part where. Also, like, you can't, where it's completely stealth. Like, you can't get detected at all. Yeah, because I was just about to say, like, you have a detection thing. Yes, there is a detection system that's pretty cool and pretty great with, like, also figuring out when someone's around because you have no mini-map. Yeah, so, and, it, and it just tells you, like, cautious. Like, it tells you. Mm -hmm. It's a... Uh, it's very it's it's very simple and straightforward about what it is and just go for it. Now, there is also something else where if you... There's something about where, like, if you die somewhere and you restart, you can restart in the spot that you died if you choose to. Yeah. Or you can just restart from, like, the starting point. Yeah. And that was a thing that kind of tripped me up because I would keep spawning in front of, like, all the enemies that would kill me. And so then I'd just die again. I'm like, well, what the what, – what am I doing here? Yeah, yeah. But it's um, it's a fun one. There's a lot of – um, there was a lot more – um what was it platforming a bit more that i'm involved than i thought for this one because you can actually oh, the climb on top yeah. of those, those containers Gosh. um there's like a you can grab a ledge if you jump you can kind of do like a double jump kind of thing mm -hmm. but yeah the uh I, I enjoy it there's a fun there's a fun mix of weapons like you talk about balance like a uh, weapon balance uh in this one you can see like there's a laser sight yeah, trying to get someone me. trying to snipe you but there's only like one or two of those like on it's the very map, rare yeah. to get one to like find one so you can't just start sniping everyone across the map but then again if you went for the sniper first you got the sniper yeah. exactly but you only also get like a certain amount of shots well no yeah like yeah with the other weapons i understand that yeah mm -hmm. no it's just yeah but it's a it's it, it's a game i would say to check out have a fun time with sword with sauce sword with sauce now i'm not sure what sauce is it could be the blood I was I was gonna just say yeah there's you know blood everywhere so far in this. I imagine it's, it's fine no if it's no if it's spaghetti sauce I'm okay with that okay I like a bit of spaghetti well, which is another game I have coming up spaghetti yes I'm not even joking there's a game that I got oh my for like a dollar called spaghetti spaghetti it, uh, yeah spaghetti. I, I'm not uh, yeah spaghetti yes okay we'll have to you'll have to let me know, I know when you check I'm that out I'm very excited I am too I'm I don't know so what the hell it could be yeah, other yeah, than I'm, spaghetti I'll let you know on this it's a horror game. My questions are mounting the more information you tell me about what this game Spaghetti. is. Okay. Just don't look it up. It's It was right next to Mosaic Mosaic Neko, Neko Waifus. Well, I'm glad you got Spaghetti then because I can pretty clearly imagine what that other game was probably yeah. going to be. Yeah. I, I, that was uh, one for yet. We, so what, do you have I, what do you have in store for us? I, I have had some downtime this past week oh. due to my schedule. Oh. 
And I did the first impression of Elden Ring. Oh, let's go. Oh, oh nope. Go. Sorry. Oh, oh, I'll, oh, oh. I'll edit it out probably. <laughs> it's the, oh, wow. Oh, my God, oh, Elden Ring. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. I haven't seen any playthroughs. George R. R. Martin came in and said, look, Miyazaki. Change the name of everything. Bonfires are now sites of uh, lost grace. Souls are now runes. The undead are now tarnished. Like, like yeah, yeah, names yeah. are changed all around. But I'm yeah, like, for sure. it's the same Souls content you've Let's always go. loved. Oh my god. Um, but it's open world. It is completely open world. If you, I mean, I say it's completely open world. They do what they have done in past Souls games where like, oh, you need a key to get through this door. For sure, for sure. Or, oh, there's a li- there's like a, a elevator you can only use if you have a certain seal. And yeah, it's broken like a- in two halves and you have to find it. And of course, you know, the NPCs are a ton of help with that kind of stuff. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, they sometimes they just look at you and just laugh. And yep. you're like, what does that yep. mean? Yep. Um, I mean, it's, it's Souls. Guys, there's nothing else to say. Um, it's not here to, to hold your hand. It's not here to hold your hand. There's some very difficult parts. There is some, um, you know, I would say if you like any Souls game or Bloodborne game, play this game. Get it at oh, some so point. Much. It is immensely large in the content that it gives you. Um, I think I've played around 50 hours since the game released. And oh my God. I might be halfway through the game, Jesus. and I am saying that thinking that I might not actually be halfway through the game Good because Lord. of, yeah. Is sneaking a big mechanic in the game? Um, so they took a step from Sekera. Um, yes. They added sneaking. Like many things in, in Dark Souls, bows are there if you want to use them. Swords mm-hmm. are there if you want to use them. You can go in with just fists and a loincloth. Sneaking is the same way. Okay. Now, okay. of course, sneaking... You know, it helps to sneak with a long-range weapon. Um, For sure. This is my bow character, who I've always wanted to do a bow character in Souls games, and they added a crafting mechanic. So mm. now you can craft bow, uh, arrows. Mm. Now, granted, the arrows aren't great, at least because you find, like, recipe scripts or can buy uh, recipe books from merchants, yeah. and that allows you to craft different stuff once you have okay, your crafting yeah, yeah, yeah. kit. But I imagine just being able to even create your own ammo yeah. by yourself is, well, is, is, is a bit of a... Well, not by yourself, yeah. but like yeah. you know, you're yeah. you're at least being able to have a way to make your own yes. ammo if you run out. Yeah, and and that that was the whole thing was if you ran out of arrows as a, a bow player or a crossbow player in past Souls games, you were SOL and had to rest at a bonfire. Yeah, I hope you weren't in yeah. the middle of a boss fight. Yeah, yeah. Hope you didn't forget yeah. to stock up. Yeah, um, you're dead now. So I'm having lots of fun going through as a bow character. Of course, I'm having to farm a ton of the resources required to make arrows because it's like three tiny bones and like a feather to make arrows. And it's like, okay, I need to kill four animals to get ten arrows. I can make this work. I can make this work. Um, I mean, eventually you can just straight up get it to where a merchant will sell you bones and crafting certain crafting materials. So the game is very much like, yeah, we know you're going to be in this forever. And yeah... Yeah, I'm not. I've been fooling around with the bow character just to be like, it's viable. Good. Okay. Um, it's not too op. Well, balance once oh, again. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you'll see. I think I. I think I pull it up. I either do pull it up or I just no no. I just run back and why bow is great. I just run back and range kill him from far away. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. This is why I loved bows always. Yeah. Why, but, why yeah. fight when you can just snipe people? Yeah. 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 That's silly. Yes. Like, look, if, do, do they, does it follow the same like pattern where like, you know, if you, if you rest at a bonfire, they come back or yeah. bonfire. Yeah. Place Sight of grace. Sight of grace. Yes. yes. No, it's, it's the same mechanics. Pretty much everything's the same. The AI is still kind of stupid. Um, I'm okay with the there's stupid a, AI. For, I love a stupid. Oh, I love a stupid AI. Oh, well, so, some of them are stupid, but I mean, they got around it. Like there's there's a bunch of enemies now. When you have enemy groups, instead of there just being a large enemy group, there'll be like one or two enemies in that group that have a horn or like will shout, and everyone will come in. Ah, um, very yeah. fun. The, oh. the, the 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 diversity and the num and the numer and how numerous um the uh, enemy types are is amazing. Interesting. Um, Because, like, this large group, you've seen I'm fighting guys with torches and swords, people with spears and great shields, people with shields and crossbows. It's just... Mm. They did a good job. They did a good job in this game, and uh, 
congrats to FromSoft for giving um, a lot of their employees, or I think all of their employees, raises <laughs> after the game came out. Because bravo, treating your bravo. employees right. Yeah, for, um, after creating one of the most you know hyped yeah. games yes. of yes. ever. <laughs> and I, I saw the other day like 12 million units sold. Dang. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh god. They, they did a great job. I mean, they deserve that. I'm not one for game of the year because it's a stupid gaming uh, and uh, ranking metric, but this is... It, it, if Miyazaki died in a horrible car wreck tomorrow, I'd be pretty pissed because <laughs> think of how many more amazing games he could make. I mean, I can't... Because this, 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 all the Souls games, I think, lead up to this. They're all good in their individual right, mm -hmm. but this, oh my God. I This is my I'm favorite jealous. Souls game as of... So far. I mean, I can't... I mean, you talk about even Game of the Year. I, th I can't think of any other, like, game coming out soon that <laughs> sounds or, like, looks as good as this. Yeah. Not to mention mounted combat. I've heard. You get a mount. Oh, I've heard. And pretty much every weapon you can use on your mount. <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, they went ham on this game. They, 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 went, they, went, they went, went real ham. It's a giant game. This yes. game's crazy. Yeah. I mean... There's the the only issues I've had so far is it's locked at 60 FPS, mm. which causes staggering, of course, yeah. and frame drops. Um, online's funny at times. Um, they actually, I, I, people have been upset about the online, but I love it now. Mm. So you know how you used to be able to invade anyone? Yeah. Now is there's like three, there's two, there, there's basically like two or three ways to invade people: guilty people, people who like killed NPCs, sure, people who have already summoned a cooperator. Okay. And people who see a red uh, sign on the ground and summon the person and you duel. Ah, uh, so, okay. So, okay. so you don't have to worry about just being, you know, going around wherever and, yeah. oh, this is a really hard part. I need to get across that bridge. And then someone's just like, good evening. Yeah. It's yeah. Me. You don't have the wall show up with two oh, shields my. at the between the archers. Like, I'm screwing you. Just like, yeah. Oh, yeah. So oh, pain. Yeah. And you. Oh yes. There's a map. This is your map. Oh, you get a map. You get a map. You get a. And map. you get you get a map, and you get five waypoints you can put that'll be uh, blue lights that beam into the air, and you get this a hundred markers you can put wherever you want on the map. They're like, we know you're gonna need map markers. This hurts. Yeah. And That's the, amazing. And the most recent update, which oh yeah, you can see it in this. The most recent update, they added NPC uh, default NPC map markers. Very Those cool. weren't on there, and everyone was like, "Where are these people?" Well, you can put your map marker down, but you only have a hundred map markers. Yeah, so you have to like expend some of those. Yeah, man. yeah. Oh, so Lord, there. Yep, yep, yep. I think I'm. I think I'm about to go hunting. I can't remember. This looks so cool. Yes, it is. It is so much, and um, give you a sense of the scale. That castle there, right there. Yeah. That I just scrolled past. That castle is probably. Mm, um, you know, on Deadburg, yeah, it's probably that all the way from the bottom of it up to no, no, probably all of on Deadburg is probably that size, oh. scale wise, oh. and like yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, <laughs> this Dang. this game, yeah, mounted combat, you just oh, and, yeah, and the great thing they don't constrict you, so automatically you're gonna two hand whatever weapons in your right hand when you get on the horse, mm -hmm. you can have three weapons in either hand, right? Yeah. But if I want to switch to my left-handed weapon, I just press Y and click left bumper. Okay. And it'll, and it'll yeah. Okay, very cool. Yeah. Now, and I'm a, I'm a purist. Whatever, you know. I only use two weapons in each hand. If I get three, it gets too confusing for me. Yeah, I, I'm going to cycle too many times. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trip yep. myself up doing three weapons. Yep. Because, like, also, I mean, ranged and close combat are pretty... I'm mm -hmm. pretty good for a combo of weapons to have. Yeah, and I haven't figured out what main weapon I want this character, or what melee weapon I want this character to have. I know I want it to have some sort of uh, stat buildup. Like, by default, this is the samurai character, so I had the Ucha Katana, mm -hmm. which I'm like, they gave you that off the bat? Off the bat, it's a bit crazy. Starting weapon. Well, well, not crazy, but it's also like, those always, yeah, Katanas are always OP a little bit. Yes, um... And it had a bleed build up, and so I've been using um, a pole arm that has bleed build up now because I Very wanted nice. some range. That's the other thing, like range weapons, like halberds and everything. Oh my god, they're the best thing on horseback, because it used to be like, oh, I only need range if I want if I need to stay away from a character. Which Dark Souls logic was, well, I'm either gonna block 
which is just going to cost me stamina, or mm-hmm. I'm going to roll and I have iframes, so fuck you. Yeah. I don't need to worry about range, really. I want the weapon that does the most damage with one hit yeah. as quickly as possible. Well, this, you see I have my Uchi Katana. It's, yeah, there I got it, but I don't have as much reach on that weapon as mm. I would a halberd. Oh, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got yeah. you. So, gotcha. mounted... It, yeah, and if you're worried about like, oh, well, I won't know what to do or like, to me, there's the open world map and then there's dungeons, mm-hmm. right? There's And not just dungeons, some parts of the open world map, you can't have your horse in or whatever, and dungeons, you can't have your horse in, and they're more linear, Man, sort there's of. so many enemies, I'm sorry, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. It's like, like everywhere. Yeah, now, I was worried like, how do you play an open world Souls game where you can't refill your flasks? There's certain enemy groups, like if you, it, like you'll come across like maybe eight wolves or something, or like three large bats. If you kill all those, you get your flask replenished. Oh, okay. So, 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 so they, so they give you some like challenging enemies that like, hey, you could go back to the bonfire, or you could risk nice. it all against these uh, three enemy, these couple, you know, enemies. Maybe, yeah. maybe have it in you to kill them without dying and get your flask. It makes it very enticing. Yes, yes, mm. yes, yes. Are you double, double jumping with your horse? Your horse has a double jump. It's actually, what? its name is Torrent. <laughs> its name is Torrent. It uh, can double jump. It has horns. And I believe it's technically like a spectral beast or something. I don't know. A okay. witch gives it to you. All right. Yep. yep. I'm, I'll go for oh, it. The biggest thing. So, you know, like the fire keepers or whatever. Mm-hmm. They're now called the finger maidens. I don't know how I feel about finger maiden. There's everything is around fingers. Instead of a white soapstone, you have a, a white curled finger or a oh, yellow like, curled finger. Or a, why are we about fingers? The most commonly seen message in this game, because messages are still horrible. They're oh, like, of course. try jumping. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is, it, is it a lot of fingering? Mm-hmm. Hidden path ahead. No, I there's imagine, not. I imagine there's a lot of finger. There is a lot of try finger. Try butthole. <laughs> Oh, mm. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, you, Miyazaki. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Try finger butthole. Oh. Amazing, great gameplay. This is this is what this is this is why it's great game of the year. This is why it's the most amazing game of the century. Honestly, uh, unless you can say no comments. It's a finger butthole. Try finger. Finger butthole. Yes. Try finger butthole. And I think that's where we're going to leave it with Elden Ring. I will maybe have a full review of it at some point. I will have to have finished the game for that to have happened. So that's in the future. Future, yes. future. Elden Ring. Yeah, in the meantime, Elden Ring. My God, it looks so good. I mean, if you want to play it before you head out tonight, some. No, I will be stuck in there forever. <laughs> no, I'll kick you out at some point. No. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll take you. I'll, you'll, you'll be asleep. I'll be like, hey, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. All right. But that is going to do it for us uh, for this episode of Our Gaming Life. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you for consuming this content and uh, uh, any of our other content that you uh, find enjoyable. I have been a form of bust. I'm your boy, York. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to do all the stuff. As always, take care and drink some H2O.